Chicago isn't as filthy as New York, but it's still pretty filthy. Every street in Cook County has other people's garbage on it. Bottles, cigarette boxes, and other unmentionables are scattered all over the sidewalk. Is this an indication that the city is declining? Au contraire, it's an improvement from the 1800s, when the Chicago River was the city's toilet that got so clogged, they had to reverse the flow of the river! In the mid-1800s, Chicago was becoming one of the nation's largest cities. Fast. People from all over the country and the world were coming here to achieve the American dream. You know, to get filthy rich. But one of the side effects of people getting filthy rich was the Chicago River getting filthy. People would throw their garbage, dump their sewage, and throw their dead horses into the river. It goes without saying, it probably wasn't that pleasant to canoe in. And it was probably really hard to dye green on St. Patrick's Day. After a while, people probably got used to the stench and the flies coming from the river. So it wasn't that big of a deal. What was a big deal is that the Chicago River flowed into Lake Michigan, which is the main source of Chicago's drinking water. And the last thing you want to see in your water bottle after working out is human waste. To save the city from waterborne illnesses like typhoid and cholera, an engineer by the name of Sylvester Chesbro suggested that Chicago should reverse the direction of the river from Lake Michigan to the Mississippi River. You know, making it someone else's problem. In all fairness, rivers are the Earth's natural filtration systems, so the plan had scientific merit. Just enough scientific merit for the city to do it. Just to the west of Chicago, there is what is called a subcontinental divide, an unnoticeable high point on Illinois' notoriously flat land. Water on the west of the divide flows west, down to the Mississippi River. Water on the east flows to Lake Michigan. Chesbro said if a canal was built through the divide, a canal deeper than the Chicago River and Lake Michigan, gravity would pull Chicago's sewage, garbage, and dead animals in the other direction. The digging of what was called the Big Ditch began in 1892, and 42 million cubic yards of earth was removed. The canal was connected to the Des Plaines River, which connects to the Mississippi River on the western border of Illinois. People that lived near the Des Plaines and Mississippi Rivers were understandably pissed, but Chicago's slogan was, the solution to pollution is dilution. But the people of Missouri didn't find this slogan very clever. In fact, they began legal proceedings to stop the big ditch from being finished. But when Chicago got wind of this development, they hurried like hell to get the job done before there could be any cease and desist orders. Classic Chicago move. The canal was finished, and the Chicago River flows away from Lake Michigan to this day. One of the greatest engineering feats in history.